Okay, got him in the corner. So, right here, whenever it comes to quick attack right here, uh, he was already in the lag of, of Shokunetsu. But he already buffered a fireball, right? That was honestly a bad move, in my opinion. Because you already know that they're going to try to force their way past you with quick attack. So, if you, like, full hop and fall with uh, with Nair, Nair stays out for 10 years. And it's the answer to countering, um, countering uh, Pikachu's quick attack. It's been like that since Smash 4. So, whenever you have them in the corner so they can't just get free stage control, you have to keep Nair out at a full hop. Because so you end up walling out and push pushing him away. Because then that ends up happening. Now he got a reversal, and uh, luckily he ended up getting out of the combo, which is good. Try to go for the spot dodge. Okay, Esam does not know he can jump out of down tilt. Yep, yep, yep. Melee spot dodge on landing. You're going to get down tilted for that. Should have buffered roll away. Yep, yep, yep. Try to go for Nair DP. Nah, not in the corner like that. Not with that much percent. Jump out of his stun. That is literally one of the... That is literally the worst possible thing you can do in this matchup. That is when you're in disadvantage when you're being, like, shoved by fair. You cannot. You can not burn your double jump. Because once you do that, you're pretty much already dead. He could have stalled with Hadouken there for an extra... For extra stalling for, like, going into focus. But that was overall good on Esam. Jumping out of his stun is such a gamble in this matchup. Down air. Good air dodge. That was very good. Down air. Ooh. Man, why did that not spike? I'm mad. Even if it did, though, I'm pretty sure Pikachu could have made it back. He's got a percent lead. He can just sit here and, and camp. Yep. Tatsu threw it on landing, dude. You can catch that. Especially if you, if you car cancel Tatsu. Wow, Esam just threw away that stock. Shokunetsu. Yep, go, went for the full hop near that time. Anti-air um, anti hard up tilt. Only thing he went wrong here with his advantage was just that he um, went too far up with up air. Should have done it from a short hop. That's okay. The reversal didn't cost him too much. He still got center stage. Yep, yep, yep. Good parry. Just focus on spacing, bro. Use that Nair. That Nair is your best friend. Yup. Keep out the fireball game. Yup, yup, yup. Hold that position. Just jump over that. See, like, T-Jotes are not so bad. T-Jotes are only annoying whenever you are just, like, not taking your time with it. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He buffered air dodge. I hate it when that happens, bro. God, that's such an annoying interaction. I think that's happened to everybody at least once. That shit is obnoxious. Okay, T-Jolt again. Yeah, he's just going to T-Jolt. The thing is, what's driving me nuts is, like, you can just short hop and Nair through T-Jolt. Like, you can just use an advancing uh, advancing Nair to just, like, be able to approach right through that shit. I'm not seeing, Vend I'm not seeing Vendetta use that yet. Okay. But, like, he's only got four minutes. I mean, he's got four minutes on the clock, so he can literally just play, you know, take his time with this. Even if Pikachu does have the percent lead, all he needs to do is get one opening, one fireball, and it's right back. He's right back in it. Because in the poke war, Pikachu's damage is not that great. His pokes are do way more damage. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he went for the Tatsu. He, went for, he fully committed to the confirm. Ah, uh, he, he mixed the same way as he did last time, and Esam was ready for it. He burned his double jump first, and he focused. Once he committed to that, he was checkmated. There was nothing he could have done, and Esam knew it. That is why I always claim that the, the, the last thing you should do when you're in hit stun is burn your double jump. That will cost you. That's actually what costed him two stocks, is he burned his double jump first. That's rough. All right. Hopefully, he keeps that, uh, he keeps that in mind going forward. I mean, I know he won. But, like, guys, seriously, like, burning your double jump as your first option off stage is always a big gamble. You can just die at zero. Would Terry be better against Pika? So, here's the thing. I actually believe that Terry would be better against Pika just from, like, you know, looking at it on paper. But I also know that Ryu does very well. Like, at the very worst, this matchup is even. I definitely don't feel like Ryu loses this matchup. Like, I'm pretty confident in this matchup, personally. But, I mean, I've got a lot of Pikachu experience. 
from Smash 4, and the, and the neutral hasn't changed too much, except Ryu's neutral is just better now. These hard up tilts are coming in clutch right now. Good shit. Because he knows, like, he's, he's calling out where ESAM's going to be. Like, that actually takes, like, full, like a lot of confidence to throw out up tilt like that, because you just know where they're going to be. Down air, sends him off stage. Tatsu high. Try to go for the parry punish. On the cross up, if you would have out of reverse uh, Shoryuken, that might have killed on that platform. Bro, why? Why are these people still going Smashville? Why? Why are they openly going back to the Shoto's best stage? They think this is a joke. F fucking Esam and Aaron both. Like, why? Like, people really think they're going to beat Shoto's at their own game, and they're really not. I mean, he did get the first game. I'll give that to him, I guess. But goddamn, bro, like, your life would have been a lot less stressful with this campy Pijo game plan if you went to a bigger stage. Double jump's gone. Wow, that fair missed. I can't believe that fair missed. That actually was a big drop for me, Sam. He's dead. That fair missing? Because he was right again. Because Vendetta did it again. Look. Vendetta did the same thing again. Got sent with forward tilt. Burns a double jump focus. Tatsu. Like, holy fuck. He barely drift back out of the way of that. And he's dead. That one with fair costed Vendetta. Costed Isam that whole stock. Okay. I really wish that Vendetta dash walked, man. It would help him so much for positioning himself after Shaku. Yep, good DI. I'm um, DI'd up. Esim's uh, definitely not going to get hit by that free shit. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, that's the second edge guard that's been whiffed. Esim's also been on the record saying that it's harder to edge guard Ryu, so that's one reason why he thinks the matchup's not that bad, which I can definitely see that on Wi Fi. But. It's also easier to deal with Pikachu camping off Wi Fi, too. Okay. Nah, dude. He went for focus. That would work on a lot of characters, but not Pikachu because that out of shield back here is so broken. It's such a good move. Tatsu had a hit stun. Yep, there's the there's the the reset. Oh my god, dude. Yo, Esam's waking up right now. This is the best I've seen Esam play against Vendetta. Okay, sure you can. Dead. Nah, 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 nah. He, Vendetta's definitely still in this. He's just got to focus on controlling center stage. I like if he would use more like like full hop falling fair and nair. Like there's not a whole lot Pikachu can do about that when he kind of walls with those two buttons. Along with like you know of course micro spacing back with things like four tilt roundhouse stuff like that. But he also has to get like the percent lead. Like, once he gets a percent lead, he needs to just let Esim sit there and just burn the clock with T-Jolt. Because, like, he can just simply jump over it and shield it. He doesn't have to... He doesn't have to commit to playing Esam's game. And once he doesn't... And once he makes that decision, he wins. It's just a matter of, of mental endurance at that point. That roll-in was risky as fuck. But luckily, Esim committed and went forward. Yep, yep. Tatsumaki. Nope, that was good. SDI coming from Esam right there. So, yeah, like, I'm so glad to see that uh, Esam's doing the counterplay shit. So, it's not like, okay, did Vendetta get that for free? No, no, he definitely did not. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. Back air. Now, this is just amazing awareness right here. Alright. This is some top tier awareness right here. He knew that Esam was, because the angle he was sent at, was going to try to run off and do something like down air, drag down air, anything like that, because we've already seen Esam do this in this set. 
So he wanted to have extra, um, he, he wanted to make sure that if he did this, that he would have anti-air Shoryuken ready. Because here's the great thing about this. Even if Isam hit him here, he would have saved his jump. Alright? He would have saved his jump. There's no way he would have called that he was going to mash Shoryuken like that either. That was just awareness for like the angle he was sent at and the habits that he knows that Isam just wants to run off and like throw out a button. So, that was not something that was random. That was intentional. Alright, I can pay respects to that. That was smart. That was insane awareness right now, right there. Need to integrate dash walking? I know, I know. I need to go and scream at Vendetta and tell him to start dash walking, goddammit. Like, you don't have to use it as your, like, your main movement or anything like that, but god damn it, dude. Like, whenever you win, a, like, an opening a neutral, it just sets, it, it positions you better than just running forward. It positions you so much better. Oh, he brought out Samus. Um, Samus Ryu ain't that bad, but it is annoying. I definitely prefer, like, Terry or Ken. But this is definitely a doable match if you know it. Hadouken helps a lot, because, yep, yep, he knows, he knows. Because fast, I'm so, yeah, he knows, he knows. Fast Hadouken literally makes it to where, like, you can just, like, zone right back because your, your projectile's faster. We can actually keep up with the zoning war. I don't think, I don't think Esam knew that. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there trying to missile and shit, and you're just like, nah, here's Fast Hadouken. Yep, yep, Vendetta knows. I don't even have to explain the matchup. Vendetta's showing it. Fast Hadouken saves our ass in this matchup in neutral. One tap wondering, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Keep that fireball out. Plus, like, if they if he releases it too soon, like all um Hadouken will do is just clank it out. So they're not actually going to be able to get a fully charged uh, neutral B unless they really run away with it when they're when they're trying to camp it, like when they're trying to camp. Okay, stuck in the corner, goes to the up tilt, neutral get up attack. Yup, 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 trying to catch the landing, just throw it out. Yeah, he's over, yeah, he overcommitted with a dash attack and as soon as he saw that he buffered roll. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, there was that moment. I've, I've noticed this with Vendetta. I finally found it. The moment they get the hyper sense, and it's like, and it's like a, a tense situation to bracket, like it's one one, or like, like you know, it's like he's about to win the set, or if it's like you know, down to the wire. This is when the Vendetta nerves start kicking in, bro. That's whenever he starts getting hungry, and he stops playing what he playing the way he normally does. He starts going in and trying to make shit happen. The thing that drives me nuts when I'm watching this is I have done this so many fucking times in my career, dude. I have done this shit so many times, so I know what he's feeling. It's the worst thing ever. But luckily, he still clutches it out. But goddamn, bro, he co it costs him so much. Man, sitting over here at like 157. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, Esim keeps over committing with these dash attacks too, though. Like, Esim has, like, this pre... He picks his options preemptively when he's trying to, like, guess what Vendetta's gonna do. And whenever it whiffs, he gets, either just gets... Loses center stage, or he gets reversal and dies for it. Yep. Oh, wow, I thought you were gonna get a combo from that. But I think, uh... Yeah, Esim buffered... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. You can just nair through that projectile. Yep, yep, yep. Tatsu. Yep, yep. Put all that pressure. Ooh, no down smash. That's okay. Bro, this 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 pressure right now in the corner. This is a nightmare. We this is literally where you're supposed to live whenever you're fighting Samus, dude. This was literally Okay, I got to go back over this. This was optimal as fuck. Let's go from here. Tatsu. Shokunetsu. So from here, Throws out another one. Immediately repositions himself here to throw out slow Hadoken. Throws out a feint with dash forward. 
Sets back up at roll distance. Hadoken again. Gets him from shooting missile. She sets up slow shock you again. Another feint. Like, how he's dancing around right there and abusing positional pressure is literally the most optimal shit. Roll in on the projectile. Down tilt. Sure, you can. Perfect. Like, he could not have played that. He could not have played the corner better there. Okay. Shaku to Shaku. Set up again. Red him going high. Went and reset back to center stage. Got the reset. Again. No, dude. His, his option coverage right now is immaculate. Now this is this is optimal as fuck. Yep, set up shock you again. Needs to keep uh, fast Hadoken out more though. We'll say that. There you go. Hold up. Get out of here. Get out of here. God damn. Uh, am I vibing with this? Am I vibing with this? Let's go here. Bro, dude, he's no. What I'm seeing is Vendetta is literally doing a lot of the shit I've been preaching for so fucking long, and he's doing it so optimally. It's blowing my fucking mind. It's just refortifying that everything I always believed about this character was true on both on both fronts, Ken and Ryu. I knew it was gonna take a top player like him to show it, but I'm just glad it finally fucking happened. Up uh, air DP. He reversed it too to cross up his DI. Yep. Yep. Vendetta offline? Oh, dude. Like, I think Vendetta could win a major. I genuinely do. The way he plays, the only thing that I feel like will choke him up against, like, the top, top level players is the moments where he gets antsy. And I've seen it multiple times through this tournament. So it's not even a matter of, like, anything he's doing with the characters. It's what's going on up here. This is what this is the only thing that Vendetta really needs to focus on at this point. Obviously, other than like mastering matchups that he doesn't know, he's got to work on this, which he's in a strong ass region. So like, yeah, I definitely expect to see him. I really expect to see him do very very well. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, when did when did when did the bald man get a me? When did the bald man get a me? Oh my god, it even looks like him. I swear to god, if Vendetta loses this shit. If Vendetta loses to this shit, I'ma be mad as hell. There ain't no way. This is not about to happen. This is not Okay. Oh my god. It's working. It it it's working. I can't wait to see the fucking me brawlers in my fucking comment section one day. Just tell me how the fucking how the fuck this character beats Ryu. I can't wait for that shit. I can't fucking wait. What even was that confirm? Yeah, you know, Esam is reaching deep in his pockets. Yep, jump in there. Try to go for the parry again, but offline, I mean, online parrying is a nightmare. Got the parry that time and got the stock, though. Short hop there. Short hop there. Come on, Vendetta! Pick a different option! Stop it! What are you doing? Cease! Bro, literally, me brawler really is just Nair, bro. I swear to God. Yep, there's the up B. Oh yeah, yeah. Esim is definitely starved to beat this guy. You can, I can feel it. Nope. You're. Oh, he could have died right there. But he committed. He fully committed to the focus. I think he thought he was gonna land on the platform. And he could just like you know catch him on landing. Yep, up B. There he goes. Bro, what the fuck was that drop? Man's had him with focus two and he dropped it, you buster. I take it back. I take back everything. Vendetta, 
You are fraud! Fraudulent as shit! Fraudulent as shit! How did you drop that? Fraud! Absolute fraud! He gonna die for this, ain't he? I swear to God! I swear to God! Fraud! Fraudulent! Man goes and beats fucking... Fucking Samus! And he fucking goes and he beats fucking Pikachu! But then the brawler gives you the hands! The brawler! The brawler! The brawler! That's the answer? The key to beating Vendetta, hit him with some bullshit he's never seen. That's literally it. <laughs> Man, that was goofy as hell. Bro, he really brought that bit. He really brought that shit to game five with the brawler, bro. That went to game five because of the brawler. Oh my god. Dude, if I. That would be the most tilting shit. I swear to god, like, like. Vendetta's mental must be god tier for winning this after that shit. That shit would have that would that shit would have pissed me off. <laughs> Pretty sure Esam switched. He probably yeah. I don't blame him. He didn't switch. He he didn't switch. He didn't switch. Okay. Oh wait. Wait 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 wait. Did Vendetta switch? Nasty Zard, thank you so much for the follow, man. Welcome to the dojo, fam. Yeah, honest to God, Ken definitely would be a better, better pick. Yeah, Ken would be good for this. He wants to. Ha he wants to. He wants to play cheesy. We can play cheesy. That's what Vendetta said. All right, here we go. Good parry. Needs to confirm in the Tatsu, though. Like, light Tatsu in particular. Because the way that Isam is SDIing, like, I don't think he's going to be getting roundhouse. And at least he'll get a better positioning from light Tatsu, even if he does SDI out of the way. Yeah, it's DP. Good shit. Good positioning. Holding center stage. Wow, he just died. Wow. Esam really just gave away that, that his first stalking in game, in game five. That really sucks. Yep, yep, yep. What for the Hadoken? You're dead. Wow, you did not die on Yoshi's the anti DP on the top platform. Uh, not anti DP, but like a kick confirm into DP on the top platform. Are you serious? Yeah, bro, bro. Did these blast zones get patched or something, bro? How many DPs did he get hit by? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, this shit's over. This shit is over. There ain't no way. Yep, went low. Yeah, you're not gonna edge guard that from that angle. Not with me, me brawler. Nope. What the fuck? Okay, he was at 100, so yeah, I, I get that. That's fine. This stage in particular is a nightmare to fight Ken on as well. This is easily one of Ken's better stages too. We can full hop on the platforms, but the blast zones are so good for us. Plus, we still have double jump confirms. Yeah, you're dead. Esam was just going in. He was just going in. That was that was full tilt right there. Yeah, Esam was desperate. Yeah, that was a good set from Vendetta. Um, that first game, the first game he lost to the Brawler, like, that kind of blew my mind. Uh, like, he was just getting hit by these weird ladders on platforms and shit. <clears throat> but overall, he broke Esam's mental. So, like, after he did that, I knew it was already a wrap. So, yeah.
And he held himself together pretty well after, like, you know, he lost to the Brawler. So that's also really good. 